Hey guys. Uh, we've started doing some game reviews, uh, but instead of, um, and we've had requests for game reviews, instead of going into the KGS active games list and pulling out a random game, uh, I've been reviewing Black's play from my handicap games. The premise being that they should beat me, or at least they should. I don't mean victory. I mean, what? Where are they faltering? Yeah, I think that'd be a good, good uh, thing to learn. So let's have a look. <clears throat> I'm white. Three stones. Uh, first, check out um, my choice. I'm giving Black exactly what he wants. This is something I really enjoy doing in handicap games. I mean, it's just perfect for Black. Black should win this game. Pinch? It's reasonable. A rational choice. Um, one could argue, well, A's best. B's fine, C's fine. Uh, kick and C is fine. Any of the pinches. Uh, so this is fine. <clears throat> I want to get stable, settle my group. And this is my favorite Giuseppe in the corner like this. And Q players get it wrong all the time. as did he this allows me to escape instead this is absolute center next move white dies somewhere so white has to come out and black continues because touching his k4 stone is way more valuable than b stopping me at b4 if I were to come under, this is the response. Black has extreme thickness, just wonderful position. So I'm not in any rush to do that at all. So this is something that Black tends to misunderstand in games. You get out. This is cuttable, but it's the way White can get out to the rest of the board and have Audrey to work with later. Boom, boom, cut. Save. Out. He can ladder me. So I break the ladder in Sente. Then I have to decide. If I play away later, do I have options for coming in? Not really, because he has me in double Atari, right? So first thing I do is fix. Now it's actual Aji. It's not like he's going to kill me in one move or ladders or anything. And it's Incente because he has to come back and defend. Now, this might not be best. It's a little greedy. Why not just here? Stronger on the side, better for defense, better for points. It's a little greedy, and White's going to use this later. So we had the mistake here. That's just not knowing Giuseppe. Okay, that's understandable. But then here, it's such a small mistake, one could say. And yet from White's perspective, the left is now open. And now the left is closed. So from White's perspective, this is a big, big difference. Black's thinking, oh, I'm just attacking more. I'm getting more points. Well, the attack isn't real. The points aren't real. So no. Now, I didn't get any of this till I was four on. Back then, we're going back 45 years. No one knew how to play go back then. So when I say, oh, he's making mistakes, I don't mean something like, 
oh, how stupid he is, or he should, I mean, I didn't know any of this stuff. But if you can see that difference and adopt an attitude of practical moves rather than hopeful moves, that's going to really help. Okay, at this point, if I decide to get my A group healthy, let's take a look at that. I'm going to get out, he fixes. I'm going to get out, he fixes. I have, I don't even have one point yet, or an I, and I'm giving them left, I'm giving them bottom, this is nothing to attack, it's horrible. So, I wait. If he wants to spend two to three moves capturing these, that's his right. Off I go. Uh, I thought about here, uh, but I think the roadmap is a little too easy. Right? If I go, oh, I'm coming after you, he just runs out. Kind of easy for black. So I thought, well, here's a good practical move. There's that word again, practical. Take the corner, force him to make a decision. Which way are you going to go? Place this way which is a fine way. Um, I, oh, which way would I have gone? I would have gone this way for right or wrong. And then I'd start in on this. That bottom area, my health seems fantastic. Uh, this black move stops white from doing a whole bunch of cute double attacks. So it's good for defense. It's good for points. Uh, next move, we take the entire bottom. So this seems very pra a practical path. Anyway, he went this way, which I don't consider a mistake yet. But don't play this move. Let's look at it without the extra stones. So black gets a wall. Okay. We haven't decided if that's good or bad yet. White negates the wall. If black plays this way, let's just look at this as an example. Black is way too close to that wall to make efficient points. However we want to do it. Black's just too close to the wall. And if black plays this way, then white's got a, uh, black's got a stick going on here that can be attacked. So a lot of the reason why this A wall isn't great is because, and you, you've seen it before, this peep is kind of a big deal because if black allows it, the two stones on the right are very much at risk. Now let's change that just a second. You've seen all this before. You'll, we'll just go through it here. Let's do the same thing. Now those three stones, are significantly healthier than the two. The two stones were gonna die immediately. The three, no, we can fight back easily. So big difference. So this is a Jaseki for black. The other one, not really. So if you could learn to see that, that difference, notice the weakness difference could be helpful. Okay. We're over here. Oops, stop it. Okay. Now, we're, we're reviewing this game with the idea of how can black, black play better to win this three-stone game? What's he doing? How can white win? There's three stones on the board. How can white win? Well, there's the misunderstanding of the A stone. 
how it leaves so much space on the left. Then, and we're talking practical, right? Now the bee stone, he left a C spot. That's an elephant eye right next to a nasty cut. That's impractical. Now his original D stone, that was kind of like not knowing Giuseppe. Still, he should have seen the absolute sente. Well, it is a mis misunderstanding of, of how to think about things. Because if you can see, oh, linking up my stones, look at that wall. What a wonderful wall. That should make Black absolutely delighted. And this exchange is nothing. Okay. So that's three things where Black should see things differently. And you know, we could say they're all practical. Okay. I want to take advantage of the C spot. So I drop down here. This hurts Black's eyes. I'm creating eyes and points. And now the, the peep works. So this might look like a small move, but three very big purposes. I prefer dolphins myself. Plays away. This is a misunderstanding. <clears throat> Opening move, granted, sounds good. Does it bother white? Not in the slightest. Does it help black? No, there's nothing to help in this area. It's a one-purpose move, playing away from the action. Okay, so let's put together how black should see the game in order to get from he's 3Q. If he understood these, he'd be 1Q one one or 1 done without much problem and we've only seen three so far and it's a misunderstanding of the stones and they're really all about practical okay what are the things on the board that black should be thinking of <clears throat> white's a group well now if the a stones get surrounded it's not a small two for a 10 ish in area one, it's more like 20 to 30 in area two. Right? Black is far more prepared to take a large area. Okay, so that might look like this. Now, granted, if white plays this way, You'd have to read out, well, there's no reading. This works because white's so short on liberties. You might decide, you know, I think I'd like to pull back here. Great, that's fine too. Okay, so that's one option, is hurting the A group, attacking the A group for defense and area two. Uh, next, we have to notice that the B group isn't great. It's not horrible, but it's not great. So a move like this, totally disrupting White's eye space, which happens to grow nicely for Black. Now, what's White going to do? Play here? Gosh, let's just keep going. What does White have? Nothing. Not what's White going to play here? Let's come up. Give white life. Sure, we're getting so much. Oh, please live. Yeah, I'm going to live. Okay, then what? Still doesn't have eyes. Why don't we come up? How many eyes does white have? Well, we can play here. If white stops us, we just go home. Zero eyes. White doesn't have any eyes. Maybe one. Tops, right? This is serious. Okay. So the things 
black should be looking at instead of playing a one purpose move attack the a group attack the b group uh third it's slower but we're concerned about this c spot now he hasn't seen it but let's assume for a moment he saw that spot and says you know i'm a little concerned i also have a knight's move at d that why well, can't do anything right now but that bothers me why don't i just fix both right now and it gives me at least one eye and a couple points well that's slow but it makes sense so those would be the three things black's group has some weakness and two of white groups have weakness if you want to play for points, play some corner move. Okay. Black. I hit the spot. Ooh, that hits the spot. <laughs> I go for the cut. I go for the cut. Atari, which will give me life, hurts black dramatically. Do you see that stick group sitting there? Remember how this move looks slow? Maybe not. This black group turns into a stick awfully fast. Tari save. Here, threatening to kill, which would bring me life. Then I connect. That black group is in jeopardy. Come out, come out. Here, come out. Here. Go for the surround. Okay. Let's look from White's perspective for a moment. Knights move at A, an obvious cut through B. Mm, White does not have this right to play this aggressive move. And maybe I shouldn't be playing it. But I figure either well how do you say it i'm aiming for the c group he has a number of weak groups and i can tell already that the c group's the one that's going to get hurt so let's see how it goes comes up nope comes through uh threaten to kill uh threaten to kill out i come there's the threat if black defends, let's have him play here just for fun. All of a sudden, I can get both groups out. And his bottom group is in, it's about to die. Now he has a lot of liberties and I'm not saying a game's over yet, but you can see it's dangerous second my alarm uh so he says no way now that's a good practical move but it allows me to go after this group boom boom boom, boom. nice and thick make sure they're dead sure Oh, I thought I defended that, but he has so few liberties, it's just not an issue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not sent it. Not sent it. What's he doing? Is he attacking? It's not sent it. Is he defending? He's not weak. Here's another one of those moves. It's a pass. It's not a pass, but really low percentage. I'm thinking 20%. That's pretty low. Well, what's White thinking of? As a nice little cut at A and a two space gap at B with the 3 3 open. I'm seeing a lot of stuff here. So, as Black, I want to do something to thicken up. Uh, I would do that personally by attacking white 
if white's weak like this, there's no chance white can do anything. White comes out. Well, all of a sudden, this one sent a. Now we're just going to surround white. White needs to get out. And we're an awful lot thicker. Let's just clarify. We could just go on a road here for clarity, and it's not even a bad road. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that black group is points and life. What about the black top? Black has sent it. Just run out or sacrifice or anything. It's easy to make that a small white area. Okay, so how did we find these moves? By as we did with each one. What are the th issues on the board? What things should we be looking at? Three threes open, gap at B, cut at A. Let's fix by making white so weak, and then boom, 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 it follows. So that's all for this video. We, we only saw, what was it, five moves that were off. But white looks at those and finds the weakness. That's how white wins the games. Is there's a weakness there. Uh, so black should be thinking more practically and not so, oh, in the future, in general, in general, this and that. No, specifically, you have a problem. Specifically, this is a really big move, this kind of stuff. Okay, guys, hope it was helpful. Catch you all later.